Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my shop. get back on this 75 Corvette and hopefully the goal is today to get this thing back on the ground and to do that I need to hook up these parking brakes that I uh, that wasn't even existing when I first got this car and I didn't discover that until I, I did the uh, rear wheel bearings which I'll do a link around here somewhere if you're interested in seeing that and you haven't seen it. But anyway, I uh, installed the shoes and all the hardware, and I was going to hook it up at that time. And I discovered that the cable between, that runs between the wheels that gets pulled taut when you pull up on the handle, well, that cable was frozen and rusted or whatever, and I couldn't get it freed up. So I've ordered a new one, And uh, but I decided I wasn't going to keep it down just for that. It didn't have parking brakes before. And I wasn't concerned about parking brakes afterwards since I've got an automatic anyway. But anyway, long story short, I got the cable now. And uh, that's the last thing keeping this from getting back down on the ground from all the maintenance I've been doing underneath. So, for hopefully the last time for a while, we're going to pull these wheels off, hook that cable up, Crawl under there, hook it up to the other cable, and we'll have some parking brakes. So stay tuned, and let's get busy. put them lug nuts on with this and we'll have to use air to break that one lug nut off. Isn't that the way it works? All right. I think it'd be easier if I removed the caliper. couple special tools. I'll keep them pads from Closing up. And there's the dude right there. I'm going to bring you down and show you why I had to pull the caliper. If you haven't done this before. If you've done it before, you know. But uh, I've got the uh, actuating arm for the shoes. 
tie rat back so uh, to keep it from rattling and falling out. So uh, we're going to cut that tie wrap loose. All right. Right there is the actuating arm right there. My finger pointing to it. All right. You can see the tie wrap. I'm going to cut him loose and get it ready for the new cable to connect. All right. I got the cable tie wrapped here. I'm going to cut him loose. I just didn't want him, you know, hitting the wheel. And you see, this, they call this a, like a Mickey Mouse ear clamp or something similar to that. I need to remove him. Let's see how easy he's going to be. Well, that wasn't bad. I should be able to get this old cable out on this side. All right. I'm going to try it one-handed like the guys, like the pros do. And I doubt I'm going to be successful. I'm going to have to go to two hands. So i got to get him out of this clamp right here. All right. Now it takes two hands. You've got to uh, pull back this way on that cable to where you get this little piece through a hole. And then you can thread it out with the... Uh, the metal uh, inside cable will go through a little slot right there, okay? I can't do it one-handed, I don't think. We'll try it, but I might have to go back to two hands. There you go. Got it. All right, got another clamp. Where's my light at? Right there. And, uh, yeah, it's got that Mickey Mouse clamp on it right here on the back side. And I, apparently, I'm going to have to do the same thing to disconnect it there. All right. Let's do it. Okay, I've got the Mickey Mouse clamp out. I've moved this rubber boot back with the screwdriver some. Just pull it forward, see how it drops down. And he's free. I may try to get this one side on first, and then I'll move over to the other. And then we got to deal with... Uh, the uh, center cable pull so that'll be like part three so this is like part one <laughs> of this deal be right at the back sure left it in the bag but here's the new cable all right all right here so i think i'm gonna try to start this side first and then we'll go on to the other all right i'm gonna try to show this see it's hooked in the in the lever here that goes into the parking brake shoes and the spring is in between where's my finger right there the spring is right here on the bracket i don't know if you can see it or not there all right you see and you see it's already worked through a couple uh there should be a it seems to me there should be like a washer or something but there's not and there wasn't one on the old one so anyway but I think that's what holds, helps hold, hold the arm back. Now, we're going to feed him in through here and then one underneath. All right, I've got him slid in the bracket. Now I'm going to put in the Mickey Mouse here. Well, if I don't drop it, way over yonder. How come when you drop something, it always goes so far? All right. All right. And there you go. He's in there. Now we're going to put this in here. Also, I want to point out that I've routed the parking brake cable here over top the exhaust pipes, just like the old one. Okay. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. We'll see. There we go. All right. All right. See, and the cable shielded right here with the heavier uh, sheath, I guess, for the road grime and so forth. All right, let's see if we can put the uh, Mickey Mouse clamp there. I may need two hands for that because he's he's a lot stouter. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. So anyway, you get the idea. Be right back. All right, there we go. <laughs> the clamp's in, the cable's secured on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, caliper back on and we're gonna move over to the other side. I'm not gonna put the wheel on just yet. 
All right. Now you see these two blocks of wood. They should have kept them shoes from collapsing in. There you go. It's still collapsed in a little bit. I'm going to put the bolts in and move over to the other side. <laughs> All right, hopefully that'll tell this will record good. We're now underneath it. I got the other side done. I'm gonna release this big spring right here. All right. I'm hoping these needle nose channel uh, vice grips will do it for, do the trick for me. leave them hanging now i don't know if you can see that or not right here you can see the cable the old cable goes between the adjustment bolt and the top of this brace that uh bracket i guess so i've got to back this plumb off here all right and i don't know how easy he's going to turn let's see he's a half inch yeah let's see all right And he's not acting like he's going to turn easily, so okay. we'll clamp him right there. Okay. He doesn't want to turn at all. Not even tight.
the new cable hooks right there. All right. And then you run that back through it. We still record? Okay, good. All right, what I'm going to do now, let me see. Is that there? We'll hook that spring up, then I'm going to put the wheels back on it, and uh, we'll adjust it. We're going to leave him down here. All right. I don't know if I'm going to bring you back down here with me. Uh, we'll put the wheels back on, and we'll uh, we'll go over adjusting the uh, brake. And in order to adjust it, I'll run this half-inch bolt up this way. All right. And once I get it where I, I want it adjusted, then this half-inch bolt will run down, and it'll lock it. And uh, we'll be locked. All right? All right. Oh, yeah, I don't want to hit my heat. Get a little chill eye out here now. Them uh, 60 degree days are gone now. We're back in the uh, low 40s. 20 degree swing. Yeah. These old bones don't like that kind of stuff. Anyway. All right. Got the other side buttoned up. I would have showed putting that one on because I ran into another problem over there. I ended up having to run a tap a 71620 through the uh, brace that the that the caliper bolts to because one of the bolts started uh, crooked and uh, well and they're hard to get to as it is so I took it off ran a tap through it got it cleaned on up and it went in just like it was supposed to so anyway tap and die set something real handy to have anyway whoa, whoa, whoa. let's put this wheel on. <clears throat> When I was uh, doing the rear wheel bearings on this thing, I had three bad studs on that side, the right side, and two on this side. So I replaced them while I had it down. Got some new lug nuts. With these vets, it's just uh, too much of a pain to swap them out. So I don't start. I don't start them with the tool. I start them by hand, then I run them down.
How do you get over there? Time to take him down off the stands. Well, no, it ain't. Time to test <laughs> Dark and Fresh. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Yeah, I can tighten them up some more. Down under I go. All right, we're adjusted up. Parking brake off. We're neutral. See how easily he spins. All right. There we go. No spinning. She releases. Down she comes. September since September three months this thing's been on the jack stands for something I should have done in a week <laughs> what you know how it is anyway all right and in shots for one hey. Kind of soft, but hey, it's a cruiser. It's not a, it's not an Indy 500 car. Anyway, yeah. All right. Finally, I think I can reuse these gloves. No, I can't. That's all. All right. That parking brake cable was a little bit more in depth than what I I was uh, I planned on. Uh, so I would say if you're going to do this and you're watching this for instruction, uh, plan for a couple hours and plan to be up and down quite a bit because uh, uh, unless you got two people and. Uh, Take the wheel off, take the, uh, of course, now when I did the rear wheel bearings on this, I put the shoes and all the hardware in the, uh, in the hub before, uh, before I put the whole rear end back together. Well, not the rear end, the rear axle uh, bearing assembly back together. And that way I didn't have to try to work around the axle flange trying to get those shoes in and everything. Now, I've seen some videos on YouTube where some guys have been able to do that. Uh, my fingers aren't as nimble, aren't as small. There's no way I could do it, so I did it the way I did it. And uh, I tie wrapped the, heart, the, the actuating lever back uh, until today, till I got the new cable uh, installed. 
by tie wrapping the actuating levers back, it kept them from vibrating around and vibrating loose and either falling into the cavity where the uh, parking brake are low is located or it falls out because there's not a whole lot holding it in. And uh, so I tie wrapped it and uh, put, oh gosh, I'll have to check my records, maybe a thousand miles on it like that. And uh, since it's an automatic, I really don't use the parking brakes at all on the thing. And uh, I haven't really parked on an uh, a, a, a incline of any kind to where I needed them. Uh, but since I went through the trouble of putting the hardware in while I had the uh, rear uh, wheel bearings, getting replacing them, well, I should hook it up. So now I've got a good, good functioning parking brake for uh, whatever need I have for it. So pull the wheel off, pull the caliper out of the way, and uh, you know, of course, jack it up, and you can get uh, you know clear uh, access to it that way. Me, I, uh, I don't mind taking a couple bolts out and removing some parts to make the job easier. Uh, if, you can, if you can finagle around and, and fish that down in there and get it hooked, more power to you. There was no way for me. I'd take the caliper. Well, I didn't totally take it off. I left the uh, line, the hard line connected. I just moved it up and out of the way. There's enough, uh, there's enough bend and give in that hard brake line in order to do that. So, all that said, the next video of this should be a bit out here and doing a little bit of road testing. So, I hope everything's going good with you and yours. Everything's going good here. Can't complain. Won't do me no good to complain anyway. Just got to take care of the business and carry on. Even if it means putting on probably this hazmat suit. I, I think I've about wore him out. He's, he's made his rounds. But anyway, have a good one. And I hope to see you around on the next one. See you.